Hi Darkroom Booth users and Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to talk to you about the Darkroom Software Knowledge Base. Um, before you close the video, hold on just a moment, um, I will be giving you a link sometime within the video to download this bundle of templates right here that you can have for free just for listening for just a moment. Um, but in this video, I want to talk to you about using the knowledge base, some of the best practices. And what we'll do is kind of just jump right in and then talk about why uh, we want to use keywords or why we want to use the knowledge base rather than using YouTube. So first, let's, let's go ahead and open up the knowledge base. You can access it by going to darkroomsupport.com. That's different from our normal website, which is darkroomsoftware.com. It's darkroomsupport.com. And from here, we would recommend doing keyword searches. So let's say you wanted to learn about a topic. Um, we'll start with booth. Let's say you wanted to set up email. So you can type in email and it'll give you the options. But let's say you wanted to set up your Gmail account. You can be more specific and Hopefully it'll come back with a more specific result to help you get to where you want to go a little bit faster. And those specific questions or uh, keywords that you enter actually help us out. It lets us know what you're looking for so that we can better keyword our articles um, and possibly make new articles based on what you're looking for. So those keywords help out a whole bunch. Um, they also let us know what common things your people are looking for and maybe our developers can make the software a little bit more intuitive in different areas based on what you're searching for. So those analytics help us out a whole bunch. Um, and you can do the same thing for core. Um, so let's type in 4x6. Uh, this um, is a video on how to set up a 4x6 package in Darkroom Core. So if you see that it says core and you're using booth or vice versa, just know that it could be for a different software. So just keep going down the list until you find the one that's right for you. The other option is you can browse the how do I section by category. So if you wanted to learn a little bit more about saving files, here are uh, articles and then the same thing for darkroom booth. Let's say you wanted to learn about saving files. Here's a couple or a few articles, and we put videos, screen uh, screen captures whenever it can be explained simply in a screen capture. But for things that are a little bit more complicated, we try to add videos to help you along so you can work along with the video. And then you can also submit a ticket if you don't find uh, what you're looking for, and it's possible that we don't have an article for it, and this lets us know hey, we need to get uh, up our game and create an article or a video uh, and post it. So the other reason why you would want to use the knowledge base over YouTube, we put specific keywords in layman's terms or commonly searched uh, terms for topics. So in YouTube, we might say, you know, specifically what the video is for, but on the knowledge base, if you, uh, we put keywords like keyboard, bottom of the screen, things that you would likely type to help get you what you're looking for. And once again, when you type something in and you don't get a result, we get that information and it lets us know what you're looking for and what you're not finding. So with that being said, I told you that I would uh, give you a link to download um, some templates. So if you go to darkroomsupport.com and type in thanks, you can download this free template bundle 
and uh, that's just my way of saying thank you for watching the video sticking with me and help hopefully helping yourself a little bit one more thing that I want to add if you own a company and you have attendants or operators make sure that they know about this website so that means less support calls for you whenever somebody runs into an issue at an event they can help themselves rather than call you um, in a panic I hope this helps thank you very much for watching till next time